Okay, hi, uh, this is Diane from Diane's Corner and uh, I'm thinking of Julie Johnson. I just uh, had some communication with her over the uh, Facebook with the uh, Christmas tree and uh, it mentioned that I, I did have a, a sister who was, who did not survive childbirth and they, uh, my folks uh, named her Julie, Julie May. And so that just kind of brought up a lot of things inside of me. And uh, in fact, it just kind of bubbles inside of me, the real me inside of me. That's who I really want to be. And so I got out the, uh, the book I've been reading in um, the uh, basic handwriting skills class, which was uh, actually written by a cousin of ours, Julie and her and the rest of the family and friends. Uh, she um, was Kareen and Elwood's daughter. And for Bel people around Belfield, I also have this um, Echoing Trails one book out here just to refresh my memory about Elwood and Kareen Hickey. And uh, remember Joan was always, her name was Sis and she, uh, well, she was quite a bit older than I was, actually. And uh, by the time I got to know her anyway, the uh, mom once told us the story about how when she was eight years old, she was bitten by a mosquito and had encephalitis, which gave her brain damage for the rest of her life. But anyway, um, her dad, Elwood, and uh, that would be my, uh, my grandfather, my mom's dad, was Lance Owen and they were cousins. So um, we were cousins anyway. So the Hickeys lived uh, down the street. In fact, I think I'll just walk down the street and he, uh, Elwood worked for the Ford Motor, Motor Company, married Corrine in 1928 and uh, worked for the Ford Motor Com Company for 40 years here in Belfield. And they had seven children and they all started with uh, letter J. It was Jim, Joan, that we called Sis, and Janice, and Judy, and Joel, that we called Buzz, and John. So Jim, Joan, Janice, Judy, Joel, and John. So um, she was also really well known for her collection of dolls and other things. So let's see if I can just uh, walk down the way a little bit and uh, I can actually, it's such a beautiful day. It's a, we've got blue sky and uh, sunshine. And let's see, I can even show you where I live. Here's my house in Belfield that my folks built in 1953. So it's about 60, almost 70 years old. So we've got the uh, little white fence back here. But I'm going to go with the direction of Elwood and Crean Hickey's house. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I, whenever I think about the, uh, the, the family and uh, the pioneering spirit, of course, and uh, so my mom would say, I can't believe they, they actually survived in all these hardships coming from Michigan. So I'm actually going to tell you a little bit about the homes. Here's the mansion on the hill right up here, which is one of the first homes in Belfield built by the Dutch. And uh, the Netherlands wasn't, uh, quite la didn't quite have land enough, so they want to make a community over here in Belfield. And um, across that, actually, this house across the street became a, a clinic. And uh, let's see if I go down the street here quickly. I'm rock just walking right down the block where, uh, where you can see it is a beautiful day. And uh, in Belfield, we are having kind of a quiet afternoon, actually. The birds are singing. And, but right down the block here, Sometimes mom would say in the afternoon, let's go visit Kareen. And uh, Kareen would make a, a, um, boil some water and we'd have tea or coffee. And then she had this collection of teacups. 
which we also enjoyed in the afternoon. And also, she was a very good pastry cook, so we'd have pastries to go with it, usually. And uh, Sis would get, bring out her doll collection. She would take us over to her bedroom. And I mean, everyone, well, usually her brothers, some of them would go um, into, uh, or they, because of their jobs or whatever they were doing, they would buy a doll for, to remember Joan and bring it home for her. And she would get dolls for Christmas too. And uh, so that was how her collection of dolls started. In fact, Joan is living in, in Wisconsin right now, has her own apartment. And uh, I'm coming up here real soon to uh, Corrine and Elwood's house. Uh, and also, uh, Jim, the oldest Jim, married Ruth Hickey, and uh, we were good friends. They lived across the street from us for many years. So, well, here we come to the Elwood and Kareen Hickey house, and uh, somebody, it used to be white, painted white, but somebody's put some nice steel siding on it, and uh, looks pretty homey. And actually, right next door to Hickey's is uh, Glenn Owen's house. Glenn and Helen Owen, which would be my mom's brother, if you remember the Owens family. So that would be uh, their home. And then next to that home is uh, a, the home for, of my uh, eighth grade, our eighth grade teacher. She taught many, many people here in Belfield, Rose B. Brown. And actually, she's the one that inspired me with handwriting, and as well as many, many others, because she kind of had this way about bringing everybody in eighth grade uh, into um, handwriting, and and some people even got a, a special certificate if you were uh, proficient at handwriting. So, well, that's my story about Belfield today on this lovely last day of November, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice connecting this way. And I'm just thinking of my life really has been an astonishment and a sense of wonder this year and awe and uh, really looking to expand my heart and my thinking and my faith. And this is a good place to start. So have a great day and, and hi to everybody and Take care and I love you. Bye now.